Well, Louisiana is getting hit hard by the Delta variant, and it's the country's highest rate of new COVID-19 cases per capita, with more than 6,000 cases reported on Friday, according to the Louisiana Department of Health. Louisiana also has the highest number of hospitalized COVID patients since the pandemic began. And now, unfortunately, all of this has prompted the state to cancel the world-renowned Jazz and Heritage Festival, which attracts nearly half a million people every year. Joining me now, Louisiana Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser. Let me tell you, as a young reporter and anchor in New Orleans, that's one thing I looked forward to was Jazz Fest. And this not only hits you economically, but the spirit of New Orleans and the state. Absolutely. You know, we had the Rolling Stones come in this year. An incredible event planned, and uh, to see it canceled, it just breaks the heart of everyone here in Louisiana. Um, it's uh, over a $300 million economic impact to the New Orleans region, and um, something we won't make up easily. Oh, Lieutenant Governor, I saw the Rolling Stones there more than 20 years ago, and I know what kind of party that can be. How hard was it to make the decision? How was it made? And also, there's more than 400 festivals in Louisiana every year. Jazz Fest is just one that attracts hundreds of thousands of people, and it brings a lot of money into the economy there. So how is this going to affect tourism and just the dollars you usually make from this festival? Well, it's got everyone nervous. You know, the Jazz Fest team made the decision and, um, you know, we will be back in April of next year with Jazz Fest when it normally is held. But you're right. We have over 400 fairs and festivals. Mardi Gras, people are excited about it this year. So Louisiana has to do everything we can to turn this curve around and make sure we don't have to cancel more events. Wearing our masks, doing all the things that the medical industry is telling us to do. Uh, we've got to turn this around. And I can't imagine... Uh, continue to cancel these events or another shutdown, the effects it would have on Louisiana and the great people of our state. So uh, we're hoping this is uh, one of the few that will have to be canceled and we can get our doors back open to the world. Yeah, and those festivals help heal people right now, too. Also, Lieutenant Governor, more than 6,000 children have tested positive for COVID in your state. And your governor now has reinstated indoor mask mandates ahead of students going back into the classrooms. This is the first full week of school for a lot of your students. So how concerned are you about a return to school right now amid this Delta variant surge? Well, we're concerned, but that's why we're asking everyone to wear your mask. You know, what are the options? If you don't wear the mask and, and really uh, act in a safe way, uh, we're not going to turn this around. And, and you can go out to eat and wear your mask. You can go to school and, and still have activities. If this thing continues on the wrong trend, um, what are we going to do? So um, we don't want to go back to shutting businesses and, and canceling events. Um, so we're asking everyone to do the right thing and wear your mask and act responsible so we can turn this curve around. And as you know, at least 50 hospitals now across your state have reached out to the Louisiana Department of Health asking for help. What's your biggest need right now? And are you asking for federal assistance? Well, absolutely. You know, we've seen a spike like we've never seen before. And if this continues, we're already canceling elective surgeries and, um, and, and hospitals and medical facilities are overwhelmed. So uh, we, we definitely, you know, desperately need the help from the federal government. But more importantly, we've got to turn this thing around. It's affecting way too many people, and uh, we can't stay on this trend. We've got to get it under control, and the only way we can do that is by people listening and paying attention and doing the right thing. You had a strong vaccine rollout, though, but still Louisiana remains one of the lowest vaccinated states, according to your Department of Health as well. 44% of Louisiana uh, to the total population there has received at least one dose of the vaccine, 37% fully vaccinated. So why has it been so difficult to get people vaccinated in your state? What's the problem? I, I wish I could tell you, you know, the governor and his team has done a great uh, media campaign along with the medical professionals. And um, I, we've seen an uptick lately, I think because these numbers have gone up so much, but we've got a long way to go in educating the public and getting them comfortable with taking the vaccine. Well, you got to rally your troops. Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser, thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you at Jazz Fest next year.
That's a deal. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.